Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is cosine similarity, its geometric interpretation, and applications with simple solved example. First, we will try to understand what is cosine similarity. Cosine similarity is a distance measurement that is used to quantify the similarity between two or more non zero vectors in multi dimensional space. For example, let us say that A is a vector with A1, A2, and an as the coefficients b is the vector with p1 b2 bn as the coefficients in n dimensional space the cosine similarity between a and p is calculated using the dot product of these two vectors divided by the product of their magnitudes that is nothing but similarity between a and b is equal to cos theta which is equal to since the value of cos theta lies in the range of minus 1 to plus 1, the similarity value has the following interpretations. When the similarity between a and b is equal to minus 1, the meaning of this one is both the vectors are strongly dissimilar over here. If the similarity between a and b is equal to 0, the meaning is both the vectors are orthogonal and they are independent with one another. If the similarity between A and B is equal to 1, the meaning is both the vectors are strongly similar. All the intermediate values indicate the respective degree of similarity. For example, if we get the similarity between A and B is equal to 0.5, the meaning is they are 50% similar with one another. If the similarity between A and B is equal to minus 0.5, they are 50% dissimilar with one another in that case. We will try to understand the cosine similarity with the geometric interpretation. Let us say that A is the one vector and B is the another vector. The angle between A and B is equal to 90 degree. The meaning of this one is cos theta is equal to 1, which means A and B are independent of one another or you can say that they are not similar with one another. Let us say that uh, the angle between A and B is decreased from 90 degree to 59. The cos of 59 is equal to 0.559, which indicates that these two vectors, A and B, are 55% similar. In the previous case, they were dissimilar. Now, they are 55% similar in this case. Let us assume that the angle between A and B is reduced to 10 degree. Cos of 10 is equal to 0.98. That is nothing but they are 98% similar with one another. As and when the angle becomes 0, cos of 0 is equal to 1. The meaning of this one is A and B are 100% similar with one another. Let us say that the angle between A and B is more than 90 degree. Let us say that it is 160 degree. Cos of 160 is equal to minus 0.9756. That is nothing but these two vectors, that is A and B are 97% dissimilar with one another in this case. So this is how we can easily understand the cosine similarity with geometric interpretation. Now we will try to understand what are the applications of cosine similarity. There are many applications of cosine similarity exist in the real world. In this case, we will discuss some of the important applications of cosine similarity. The first application area where cosine similarity is used is information retrieval. We use cosine similarity in natural language processing, in recommendation systems, as well as in dimensionality reduction. We will try to understand each of these particular applications one by one. In information retrieval, uh, whenever we want to find the similar document with the query document, we will try to find the cosine similarity between the query document with the existing documents. Based on the similarity value, uh, we will retrieve the similar document with respect to query document in this case. Similarly, in natural language processing, uh, we want to find the similarity between the two words. So whenever we want to do that particular thing, what we can do is we can find the cosine similarity between those two words. Based on the cosine similarity value, we can understand how those two words are semantically similar with one another. We can use this uh, cosine similarity in sentiment analysis, text classification, as well as text summarization. The cosine similarity is also used in recommendation system. In recommendation system, uh, we often want to measure if two users prefer the similar content or not. For example, uh, if uh, two people are preferring the similar content, we can recommend the same content to the other person and so on. So in that case, what we do is uh, 
between two users uh, preference we will find the cosine similarity based on the value of that particular cosine similarity we can recommend the similar items to these users in this case coming back to the last one that is uh, known as dimensionality reduction whenever we work with the high dimensional data it is very difficult to interpret that particular data on the plot so what we need to do is uh, we need to reduce the dimensionality uh, to two or three dimension and then we can plot those particular data so that we can visualize it properly so in this case what we do is uh, we will try to find the cosine similarity between the dimensions of that particular data set if two uh, dimensions you can say that the two features are similar with one another rather than considering two of them we will consider only one feature in that particular case so that we can reduce the dimensionality of that particular given data set in this case so these are some of the applications where we can use this particular cosine similarity measurement now coming back to the last part of this particular video we will try to understand how cosine similarity is calculated with a simple solved example let us assume that uh, there are two vectors are there a and b a is equal to 4 comma minus 3 and b is equal to 8 comma 6 in this case now if you want to find the cosine similarity between the two vectors first we need to calculate the dot product between these two vectors that is a dot b which is equal to 4 into 8 is equal to 32 minus 3 into 6 is equal to 18 here now once you solve this part i think we will get 14 here that is uh, 4 is multiplied with 8 plus minus 3 is multiplied with 6 we will get 14 in this particular case now we need to calculate the denominator denominator is so we need to calculate the uh, magnitude of these particular vectors the magnitude a is equal to square root of a i square so in the first case we have uh, 4 and the second one is uh, minus 3 so square root of uh, 4 square plus uh, minus 3 square which is equal to 5 similarly magnitude of b is equal to square root of bi square that is nothing but square root of 8 square plus 6 square which is equal to 10 in this case now once you calculate the dot product and the magnitude the cosine similarity between a and b is equal to the dot product between a and b divided by the multiplication between the magnitudes which is equal to 14 divided by 5 multiplied by 10 here which is equal to 0.28 the meaning of this particular thing is the vector a and b are 28 percent similar in this particular case so in this video i have discussed what is cosine similarity how to understand the cosine similarity with the geometric representation what are the applications of cosine similarity as well as how can we calculate the cosine similarity with a simple solved example i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends Press the subscribe button for more videos, press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.